I've broken the first Ted rule, which is not to sell things. And I've, because you've just seen a film selling Bristol to Europe. Um, and I'm going to continue to sell Bristol back to you based on those strengths that you've seen in the film. I introduced myself in the film earlier. I, I, I'm a director at Bristol City Council. I have a great title, which is Director of the Future. And so people say to me, Steve, you're Director of the Future. What's going to happen next Tuesday? And I say, I don't know what's going to happen next Tuesday, but I know what I would like to happen next Tuesday. And that's not because my job comes with a time machine or with a pack of tarot cards, but it comes with an agenda. And as you can see, the agenda is around using Bristol's strengths as a green capital and as a place of digital innovation to particularly drive the future economy of the city. I'm not somebody who likes to spout big visions. I was thinking about this earlier this morning. Um, my favourite big vision is, is that of uh, Jimmy Wales, the founder of Wikipedia, who says he wants to make all human knowledge freely available to everybody. Great. I think we're more driven by targets and so Bristol Futures is about taking steps now in order to shape the future of the city so the sorts of things that we're aiming to do are to make sure that we reduce carbon emissions in the city by 40 percent by 2020 we're looking to create 95,000 new jobs particularly in high growth sectors around creative industries mm -hmm. green tech and we want Bristol to be recognized as one of the top 20 European cities by 2020 but in terms of those practical steps, I really like to summarise them in terms of some of the words that you saw in the film. Creative, smart, green and connected. And what I want to do with the rest of this talk is to just focus on each of those words and ideas and give you a bit of an example of why they're important to the city and what we're doing now that's helping to shape the way that the city develops in future. So we are a creative city. When we were given an enterprise zone, which we decided would be at Temple Meads, so the area around the station, we decided that it was going to be different from the sorts of development that already exist in that part of the city. We, we have plenty of faceless corporate buildings in Bristol. What we need to do and want to do is to develop the creative industries and that's around creating a different sort of space space where collaboration can happen create space where small businesses can come together perhaps from different starting points but to create new products and services so the thing that we did in our enterprise zone which i think is particularly interesting is we we, we, we worked with a um, consortia called creative commons to put a big top a circus tent into our enterprise zone we created a creative space in order to start to bring in new ideas, new creativity, new culture into a place within the city that people had only previously passed through as they went to get a train. And for me, that idea of using creativity and culture to drive regeneration and to drive economic development is such a strength of this city. We only need to think about Stokes Croft and the radical changes that have happened there in recent years. The tobacco factory in Bedminster, even the watershed in Harborside, most of these developments have been driven by an investment in creativity and culture. And one of the things that I want to get more confident about in my role within the City Council is valuing that investment in creativity and culture to drive regeneration. Smart was the second word I suggested. It's more of a difficult word than creative. Nobody likes a smart aleck but people like their kids to be smart. So do we want to be a smart city? Well, I suggest we have no choice. We have a fast growing population. By 2025, our population in Bristol will have grown by a third. We will be well over half a million people living in the city. Space, resources will become tighter. And therefore we have to find new ways to make best use of what we've got and the use of technology in order to create more effective ways to engage with energy, to engage with transport, to engage with data are all vital if we are going to move forward as a successful city. The opportunity is either to be a city where we see smart as being about being automated, automated and distant and impersonal or for us to again look at our strength around community, around grassroots engagement, around creativity and see that as the basis for being the smart city. Can we be a crowdsourced smart city? Can we tap into local knowledge? Can that distinguish us as we move forward? Green. 
as you saw in the film, which was made for our bid to be Europe's green capital, we do see ourselves as a green capital. We are officially Europe's second greenest city in that we came second in the um, competition last year and we're going to enter again this year. But for me, this, this, this greenness is not about fluffy community activity. As we move forward, it's about infrastructure. It's about things like energy, water, food. These are the real infrastructure things that we have to get to grips with. So as a city council, we are investing in creating our own energy company, a renewable energy services company for Bristol, using money that we are borrowing prudentially in order to make capital investments in real things that will help us become more sustainable and more, um, uh, more independent as we move forward. And I would put to you that as part of a future model, we might find that cities and maybe even city councils start to take on an important role in terms of brokering access to services like energy. And finally, connected. As a city, we aren't an island. We need to work with other cities, other places. We've benefited historically from being incredibly well connected. This is where Brunel built the railway. This is where you sailed to New York. In terms of connectivity, we are investing heavily in digital infrastructure. Being able to access fast broadband everywhere so that your film doesn't stall halfway through so that you can connect wherever you are whenever you are is just a fundamental piece of moving forward and that sense of connectivity driving innovation driving new opportunities is core to who we are and where we need to get to finally i'm just going to throw in a couple of extra words they were in the film but i'll say them to you again we need to be inclusive and we need to be open all of these opportunities bring new ways of doing things, new opportunities for communities, new ways to make money, new ways to learn. If we continue in a vein where we increase the divide between our communities, then we've missed the boat, we've missed the opportunity. The real opportunity is to use this step change in being a creative digital green city to minimise things like the difference in life expectancy that currently still exists within the city. And we've got to try incredibly hard to work with people in the city who can make those differences happen. And the final word I wanted to put to you is open. I guess all of the things that I've mentioned to you, there's been a really competitive element that's helped Bristol move forward. We bid to be capital of culture, didn't succeed. We bid to be European green capital, didn't quite succeed. We, did to be, we bid to be the um, uh, UK's digital city, didn't quite succeed. But what I find is that out of those competitions comes collaboration. And it's the persistence and the openness around the collaboration that is special about Bristol. I would almost think sometimes we would be disappointed if we won. Um, we, 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 we would have ticked the box, but actually the thing that persists and the thing that carves us out is around being competitive, but also being open to sharing in order to give and to learn from others. So just to sum up, creative, smart, green, connected, open, inclusive. I hope that my fellow speakers throughout the day will see those as useful themes and will touch upon them. And I would encourage you all to think about those as being important terms in terms of how we move the city forward. Thank you.